For the first time, we're getting a look inside the headquarters for the needle exchange program in Scott County, Indiana. This comes as the HIV outbreak there continues to grow. Our Annalisa Gale has been following the story and has more from state health officials. The community outreach center in Austin opened at 10 a.m. just before we got a tour of what it looks like inside. We saw a few people go in to get clean needles, which is exactly what health officials want people to do to stop the spread of HIV. Here's what happens when they go in. We do risk reduction counseling. We ask them if they've had their HIV and hepatitis C testing or their hepatitis A and B vaccines. If they haven't, we can refer them directly next door and get that done. As of this morning, there are now 135 confirmed and preliminary HIV cases, mostly linked to injection drug use, and more than 95% of the cases are in Scott County. Five of those cases are in Jackson County. Scott County typically sees fewer than five cases in a year. Yesterday, Governor Mike Pence extended the emergency executive order for another 30 days, which allowed for the program to continue. 95 people have signed up for the needle exchange program. There is an opiate epidemic across the United States. Um, the sharing of needles for injection drug use is not limited to Austin. It's Indiana's problem. It's the United States problem. So far, 3,111 dirty needles were brought in and 4,337 clean needles were provided. Here at the Scott County Health Department, I'm Annalisa Gale, WLKY News.